All right, so today I wanna to talk to you about automating your photography business. This is the third video in the series, Photography Business Restart. Whether you are starting a photography business or just trying to hit the restart button and start fresh with more clarity and better systems, this video series is for you. I am your host, Joy Michelle. I founded Photoboss in 2017 because honestly, I think starting and growing a photography business is unnecessarily stressful and lonely, and that is what Photoboss is here to cure. We are now over 10,000 members inside of our Facebook group, so if you're not a Photoboss, go ahead and join the Photoboss Facebook group via the link below. So part of setting up a business for success and stepping into this role of Photoboss in your photography business is automating some of the things that you really shouldn't be doing manually in your business. So I'm gonna share with you three things that you absolutely must automate as a photographer to save you time, help you look more professional so you can raise your prices and give a more consistent client experience. So the first thing that you want to automate as a photographer is the inquiry process. Now, when I say the inquiry process, I'm talking about the actual embed form on your website where someone can type in, hi, my name is Sarah and I'm looking for portraits for my daughter who's a senior and we want you know, five pictures or whatever it is. That form on your website that can be automated. So using a software like HoneyBook, you can embed this on your website and have it go straight to your software that will give them an automatic response, telling them, hey, I got your email, I heard from you, and I'm ready to give to the next step or give you some pricing or book a call, whatever the step is in your process, this is the part you wanna automate to make sure that there's not this falling short or falling through the cracks where somebody reaches out and you know, maybe sometimes you use a template, maybe sometimes you just write something out manually. And this gives an opportunity for greater consistency across the board and makes it way more likely that you will respond quickly, which is really, really huge. I know there was a statistic that came out recently, I think it was The Knot or Wedding Wire that was saying that how fast someone responds to an inquiry is like 50% of whether or not that person will get booked, which is crazy to think about, that it's not just talent, it's actually your response time and your professionalism. So this is really important. So the second part you wanna automate in your photography business is the consultation or the booking back and forth. So the part from when they reach out to you to when you're actually booked, all that stuff in between, there's a tremendous amount of automation that can occur. Now, if you have a link that you could create that would give people a way to reach out to you to book a call with you or say, you know, here's a time when you can call me and we can talk about potentially working together, that's the kind of thing that you can automate into an email and send to your clients and let them know your availability, greatly reducing the back and forth. And it's gonna save both of you a tremendous amount of time. You also wanna make sure that the process of you sending your prices and a proposal and the contract are all really seamless and have very little resistance for the client. You don't want them to have to print something out and sign it and then mail it to you or anything like that. I know when I was first starting out, I totally did that. It was a different time. People just don't have the patience for that. They didn't have it then and they certainly do not have it now. So you wanna make sure that this process is very seamless. All right, so the third thing you wanna automate in your business is the process after they book, which is your client experience. Everything from how you gather information in your questionnaires, the email templates for how you check in with your clients or pick locations with your clients, all the way to the part where you're delivering the gallery or the album or their wall art and even asking for the review. I think every single one of these things can be automated and templated. And if you're interested in getting my templates for my wedding and portrait photography business and all of my workflows and basically all the back end of my business, you can check that out in Hobby to Pro Toolkit. I will link that down below. Setting these things up as automations in your business, taking the time to actually write out these templates, it does take time. I think it's tremendously worthwhile because Ultimately, it saves you time, it makes you look better, and it makes it more likely that you can respond while you're on the go. Whether you're on your phone, in a CRM, you can just grab the template you need, customize a line, hit send, and get back to your life. I think this is gonna give you so much more freedom, which I think is why a lot of people start businesses, but then can be so elusive once you actually get into your business, you realize it's actually not super easy to just go away for a week or not be on the computer constantly responding to your clients. But 
automations is a really great way to kind of get your life back get back into control. And when you're ready for this to even add a team member to come in to help respond on your behalf, which can give you even more time freedom and just opportunities to take on more clients and do what you love, which is photography. If you haven't already grabbed the guide that goes along with this series, we talk about all the things you need to do to make sure you're properly set up for success. Even some of the legalities as a photography business owner, you want to make sure you grab that free guide. It's available down below. Also be sure that you are subscribed and you hit the thumbs up button so that you don't miss out on any videos coming up in this series. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.